Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So good day again everyone So today we will be discussing about the properties of numbers And to be specific po is actually the properties of real numbers Okay po So um Firstly um this properties po is only applicable for real numbers Okay And um there's not much to discuss about the topic itself So let's proceed dun sa pinakaunang property of real number which is number 1 known as the closure property okay pa so the closure property um simply goes like this okay um let's put it in the context of um human beings okay so a, a human being male and female okay uh, will only have an offspring of another human being ang sabihin Ka, ang tao, malaki at babae, pag tao parehas, kapag nagkaanak, tao rin yung anak niya. Okay? And it will never have an offspring of any other species, say a dog or a cat or anything. Okay? So, same goes pagdating sa real numbers. So, what do I mean by that? For example, I will operate on numbers. Um, say, I have 2 plus negative 3. Okay? If I add real numbers, therefore the answer will also be a real number which is of course negative 1. So ganun lang yung closure property, meaning we are enclosed to a specific set of numbers which is of course real numbers. And for our topic, actually it's integers po. Okay po. So close lang tayo sa isang specific group of numbers. This is a real number. Yes, this is another real number and then this the answer will always be a real number. And whatever operation that you will use, negative 3 times negative 4, the answer is positive 12. This is a real number, this is another real number, and this is another real number. Or basically, these are all integers, therefore the answer will always be an integer. Okay po? And that is the closure property of um, real numbers. Okay po? Um, I think we if you understood that okay I do hope you did um, let's try to uh, right, now let's go to the next topic I had the next uh, number which is of course um, it's known as the associative property okay, associative property now in associative property I actually um I call this one APE. Um I no 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 um associative property of um real numbers lang pala tayo, okay. So this one um meron tayong associative property over addition and we have associative property over multiplication. Okay po kasi iba po yung magiging ruling natin pagdating po sa um sa associativity kapag addition sub and subtraction, multiplication or division okay po and we will only be dealing with associative property under addition and under multiplication okay po so maybe let's start on our examples now associativity only deals about the groupings ibig sabihin po let's try to denote our um given po um using letters mo okay so if i have a plus b may parenthesis plus c that is also equals to a plus b plus c okay i can change the grouping if and only if if and only if it is under addition okay this will not be true a minus b plus c is equals to a minus b plus c okay this is not true po ang tama lang po dyan is the first one Again, it will only be true if and only if it is under addition po. So, for ang mga examples natin yan would be like this. If I have 6 plus negative 2 plus negative 7, this one is also equals to 6 plus negative 2 plus negative 7. So, you will notice po, na kung kayo ay magkakaroon ng minus or the negative sign, it will be strictly for the number and dadalin niya yung sign na yun. So, kung sakasakali po na magkakaroon kayo ng gantong example like 6 minus 2 
parenthesis minus 7, ganito po yung mangyayari dyan. Dadalin niya po yung sign kapag iniba mo na yung groupings. So, this would become 6 plus, dadalin niya yung sign which is negative 2 plus, dadalin yung 7 yung sign, negative 7. It will only be under addition always. No question about that. Okay po? So, kung uh, medyo malilito kayo regarding that, let's take a look at this given po. 6 plus negative 2. The 6 plus negative 2, if you will reverse the rule of the subtraction, it's actually equals to 6 minus 2. Okay po? Because 6 plus negative 2, i-subtract mo kasi magkaiba ng sign, and you take the sign of the larger number, which is positive 4. The same goes, 6 minus 2, of course, you're familiar with that na rin naman. It's also equals to 4. Okay? So, meaning, kung may makikita kayong gantong klase ng given na plus minuses, it will automatically become minus. So, again, kung may makikita kayong plus minuses, it will automatically become minus. Okay po? So, same. Negative 9 plus negative 2. So, the answer is negative 9 minus 2. Okay po? Take note, it's only plus minus. It's strictly magkasunod sila. You will notice here. Yan. Okay po? So, yan. And that is yung associative property under addition. Okay? The groupings will change and can change if and only if it is under addition only. Purely addition po. You will notice here. Purely addition. No subtraction po. And you will notice the subtraction is actually denoted as the sign of the term or the number. Okay po? Sige. Let's proceed na sa multiplication. Now, multiplication is quite easy lang. Why? Kasi wala na po tayong um, issues pagdating dun sa um, magiging signs niya. Okay? So, what happens here in the multiplication part? Um, let me just nawalan tayo ng space. Okay. Under the multiplication part, mangyayari lang dyan would be this. If I have A, B, or maybe, ano, para iba, hindi pa kayo familiar. A times B times C is equals to A times B times C. Okay po. May it be, may sign siya or wala, it's okay. Basta nag-iiba na yung groupings niya. Okay? Now, pagdating sa division, it's not the same. What do I mean by that? Kung meron akong A divided by B divided by C, it's not equals to A divided by B divided by C. So, medyo um, magulo yung magiging rulings pagdating sa division. That's why we don't use it or advise it on division. We don't use it at all talaga. Kaya nga it's under associative property, under multiplication lang po siya talaga. Okay? Because uh, if the givens will change talagang definitely, ano, may mga cases na tatama siya, may mga cases na hindi. So, we don't use it at all. Okay? Wrong and this is correct. Okay? Now, yung aso, um, on this case naman, sa division, it will only work kung fraction yan lahat. Okay? I mean, dito, fraction, fraction. Kasi fractions are also division din naman. Okay, anyways po, going back, only multiplication po, not for division. Okay po? I do hope you got that. No? Now, let's proceed po. Kung yan ay multiplication na po, okay po? So, ang mangyari lang dyan, you can interchange the positions. So, example po. I have 2 times 3 times 4. The answer is just simply equals 2 times 3 times 4. So, bakit sila parehas? Let's try to evaluate. 2 times 3 is 6 times 4. And 3 times 4 is 12 times 2. And 6 times 4 is equals to 24. And same goes dito, 24. Kung pareha sila, therefore, our associative property stands. Tama siya all the time. Okay po? If and only if, multiplication lang po. Okay po? Same goes kung meron kang minus signs. Negative signs, I mean. Times, um, say, negative 3. Same goes. Pareso siya negative 2 times 7 times negative 3. So, let's uh, evaluate po. 2 times 7 is, and negative 2 times 7 is negative 14 times negative 3. And then again, kung meron tayong, um, say, uh, 7 times negative 3, the answer is, neg oh, sorry, negative 21. And let's try to multiply. 
what is 14 times 3 and what is um, 2 times 21 so the answer here since para sa lang negative the answer is positive 42 same goes negative negative parehas so positive 42 same same therefore the property stands okay po now um, let's have one more para hindi crowded sa video natin this is also regarding about groupings po I'm um, not sorry groupings pero it's more on, ano, on arrangement po ng ating given okay po the next one is the commutative <coughs> property. Now, in the commutative property, okay, ang sinasabi lang dito is if you disarrange your given, it would st still stand the same. For Meron tayong um, commutative for addition, and then we also have commutative property for multiplication. Okay po? Multiplication. Okay? So, ano pong nangyayari dito? Ang nangyayari lang naman dito is like this. Kapag ka meron akong 2 plus 3 plus 4, equals din yan sa 3 plus 4 plus 2. So, what happens here? So, what happens here is just simply the arrangement is changed. Nag-iiba-iba lang arrangement arrangement niya. 2 plus 3 is 5. Plus 4, the answer is 9. The same goes. 3 plus 4 is 7. Plus 2, it's 9. So, yung sabihin, the arrangement is change. And, same goes, kasi kahit pag ibahin, paikliin natin yan. Um, let's denote our given na pala. A plus B plus C. No. Dalawa na lang. A plus B is equal to B plus A. Same goes sa multiplication. A times B is equal to B times A. Okay? Example po tayo. Um, 6 times 2 is also equals to 2 times 6. Nothing will change. Kasi pinag-iba mo lang naman yung position. Okay? This is 12 and also 12. Same goes kung meron kang addition. Same, same. 6 plus negative 2 is equals to negative 2 plus 6. So what happens here, class? This will only work under addition strictly and under multiplication strictly. Okay? And if there is a sign, please take the sign po. Huwag nyo pong iwan si sign. Okay po? So yan. So, you always take the negative. Okay? So, we'll notice, 6 plus negative 2, the answer is 4. Same goes, pagdating dito, the answer is 4. Nothing will change po. And, you have to be careful. Lagyan lang tayo ng note dito. Every time, you have to take the sign. Dali nyo po yung sign kung kayo po ay naglilipat ng positions. Okay po? What I mean by that, another last example, 6 plus negative 2, plus negative 4 is equals to dalin mo yung sign ni negative 2 dalin mo yung sign ni negative 4 and then dalin mo yung sign ni 6 which is positive even though maraming numbers yan even though it is arranged mo yan long as you're under addition and you're taking the sign always, 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 always okay then your answer would be still correct okay so I do hope you got the our topic for today okay um ayan, we will continue this on other on another video the different properties okay continuation po ng properties na okay po so thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh